but I don't really like full nest build, to be honest. This is my first time watching any Heroes of the Storm, and I'm very confused. Uh, Linath, uh, what do you normally, like, what do you play friend. from the games that I play? Warcraft 3, Starcraft 2, Hearthstone. My text to speech is working, Gajura, but there is a bit of a delay. Okay, what do I ban? Braxis. Greetings, friend. I'll ban Aureo, I guess. I don't know. I play Warcraft 3, Starcraft 2, and Diablo 2. Oh, okay. Well, this game is a little bit like Warcraft 3, except it's a team game. You have to kill their core to win. You have five heroes, one controlled by each hero, uh, by each player. And if you are in some way ahead, you know like how in Warcraft 3, if you kill the hero, uh, or if they're doing a fast expand, you want to creep everything close to him first, and then you creep everything on your own side. It's like that in this game as well. When you are ahead and they lose some players, you don't always have to go and try and win the game, but you'll just take their merc camps, maybe kill some of their buildings, and you back off and do your own stuff. But there's also really boring games where you just kind of split the map, you just soak, and yeah, once you get a kill, you, you, uh, you react. Uh... Doors. Go for some good denied. He's going mouth hail. Will you play Destiny 2 when it comes? I actually have no idea what kind of genre of game that is. My suspicion is no, because I already have a pretty busy playing schedule. Uh, Destiny 2 is a what? An upcoming online only multiplayer first person? No, I don't play shooters. Wow, Butcher! It's not full of shooter, but I don't play shooters though. Wait, uh, uh, I'll remove Zarya. Zarya would be a good support to Butcher. So is Medivh and Uther, but I don't know if they're gonna run double support. Were you a fan of Diablo 3? Pretty much, yes. But it didn't fit in my life. Because I was... Uh, when Diablo 3 came out, I was an SC2 right. Pro Gamer. So I had to focus entirely on having as much time as I could to practice. Greetings, friend. I'm sorry, guys. I can't read all the chats. I see your passive-aggressive comment, Alishish. 
I do try to respond to as many people as I can, but I didn't see your comment, so please don't take it personally. I don't think it works that way, Linoth, but m maybe someone else? Stukov with armor on Q is a disgusting counter to Butcher. Yeah, 8 seconds of uh, b block charge. I mean... I, I guess Arthas is f uh, mouth is fine. Balloon, grant us strength. Greetings, friend. Isn't Sylvanas really good on this map? Why is no one picking her? Good question. Uh, Sylvanas is really good at pushing together with your monsters, with your objective. Especially when they have some people already dead, so they cannot man to defense. Friend. She's oppressively strong. made me resubscribe. D. Hi from Belgium and merci beaucoup for your streams. Thank you very much, Nardwaka. Thank you, dude. Merci beaucoup. Uh, what was I saying? Savannah can be really oppressively good in the right situation. And she's also good at deep pushing. But she's a little subpar sometimes in normal team fights. Getting the objective. That's the one she's weak at. She's like a weak Rainer in terms of a team fight. But then she turns into a monster, if you uh, talk about structural control. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, Echo Corruption or Pursuit of Flame. Echo Corruption is more burst. Pursuit is easier to hit. They have mostly backliners. I feel like Pursuit is going to get more value. Because Lunara and Kel'thas can be difficult to reach without it. But I'll go echoed because greed dies last. Ha 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 ha. Let's go e-build. With cooldown generally you don't want to tap unless you need the mana. If you are already half life and you have no mana, you tap maybe once or not. But don't over tap. Kel'thas was just a bit too close to stitches and missed his uh, missed his follow up. Uh, yes, next Friday. But then you asked it a while ago. I have this weird issue right now where I've got such a incre crazy influx of viewers thanks to the Twitch front page promotion. And I've never seen it be that effective that there's messages coming in from over half an hour ago. Oh the I've never had that. You have to control them. Impressive. Hi, Butcher. The beacons have activated. Control them. Oh my god, the poke damage is... What I can do is I can remove the delay between follows and subs, but then it'll be spam fiesta for a while, but maybe that's the way to resolve the queue. I think that's the correct move, the correct play. Get consumed solve. He died, right? 
No? Maybe not. Yeah, we had 13 before, Kumi. We don't really need the double beacon. We just need... Push. Safe, good math awareness by Bright Rain. I just life tap once too many times. Bound by shadow. Thoughts on Taronda just got owned by her 1v1 Malthea level 20. I couldn't even get her under 90. Yep. She's really, really good, especially at soloing. Don't try to solo her. I can't believe we lost the face. Oh, we didn't yet. But we might. If Butcher takes it, we lose it. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. We got a good percentage too. Debated. Did he hook Arthas? Is that why we're winning now? I think so. Your enemy has lost our point. Oh, I can't believe how much we're ahead, despite losing, you know, the thing. Fire! <laughs> Confirmed targets destroyed. Target is destroyed.
Why are they pushing when you have all heroics now? Well, we didn't have any anymore. The darkness incarnates once more. I don't think we're at nerf Tyrande yet, uh, Lika. There, like Tyrande will never be so OP as someone like a Nurak or Genji, I think, because she doesn't have good wave clear, and she never gets good wave clear. And that's how she differs from some of the others that have just dominated the meta. No. Oh. Thanks for the host. An enemy force has fallen. The beacons are active once again. Control them before the enemy does. Hate to use it like that. There was another Zerg face? What? Greetings from know the true essence of fear. And we won it? That's so nice. <laughs> My map awareness is 5 out of 7, perfect. Minotaur. Minotaur. Keep eliminated. Killing spree. Nice Twilight Dream. Ah, I should have tried to consume soul there. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I should have aimed more spells at the core. 
Which level seven? Uh, bound, bound by shadow. I should have known better in 2017 not to attack the core. Lunara should not have been able to buy time, draw my attention away. Small losses. To that prison. Yeah, that's an old message. <laughs> Showing I need to remove the delay. Oh, this is gonna be good. So good. Our enemy thinks us conquered. Reveal their error. Mm. This can't be happening. The this can't be happening. Oh, I'm too smart to the Kelthos triple gravity lapse was slightly regrettable. Your court has been shattered. I mean, I was counting my money already. The Devouring Mall. Do you like the Zagara pack here? Yeah, Zagara is turning out to be a real pain in the buttocks. Such a good pick on Warhead, Braxis. Fire Arcane Flare? The Calderai stand victorious. Hey, calm down, dude. What the hell? My presence. This is your doing, I assume. Fresh. We could just play it safe and do boss. What do you guys think of that? As we have the forward momentum. Nice hook, zero follow up. So, no nice hook, actually. It's the worst that could happen. This is gonna be so good. Panic, panic, panic at the disco. So good, freaking red Looks wedding. Like the beacons are reactivating. Can I join your next quick match game? Greetings, friend. Oh, good luck, Lunara. The beacons are now online. Please keep them out of enemy hands. Please, <laughs> please. 
Stop it, Butcher. Oh! I can't believe it was actually so close. You have won the battle. I can't believe it was so close. We did just the right amount of percentage damage in our previous attempt. Oh yeah, uh, wholeheartedly agree. Epic. Wholeheartedly. <laughs> oh Jesus. There we go. Four three four four four. Mal should have the MVP. Bound by oh. Yeah. Uh, lunar shower, full moon fire, scavenger. Juicy, juicy wins. Don't you think the Braxis boss is disproportionately hard to kill for the little pushing power it provides? Yep, Braxis boss sucks. It basically just exists to make winning teams. It's there as a comeback mechanic. Winning teams, loss. Learn! Burning hells, take you. Oh. This way. Hey, you should really use a healing fountain. Oh my toad. <laughs> 